Holy Week. Palm Sunday. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Riding on a donkey, Jesus entered Jerusalem. Holy Monday. Jesus cleansed the temple. Jesus entered the temple and overturned tables of those selling things. Holy Tuesday, Jesus on Mount of Olives. On Mount of Olives, Jesus answers in parables. Holy Wednesday, Jesus teaches. Jesus teaches daily while spending his nights on Mount of Olives. Holy Thursday, Passover and Last Supper. In the morning, preparations for Passover were done. Later that day, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Jesus shared the Last Supper. In the evening, Jesus prayed at Gethsemane. Late in the evening, Jesus was arrested and the disciples fled. Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus for gold coins. Jesus was taken to the high priest. Jesus was condemned to death. Good Friday, Jesus is crucified. At dawn, Jesus was taken to the Roman governor because the Jewish Sanhedrin did not have the authority to carry out the death sentence they pronounced against Jesus. Pilate released Barabbas and had Jesus flogged. Jesus was handed over to be crucified. Friday morning, Jesus carried the cross. Jesus carried the cross for our sins. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed Jesus to the cross. Jesus was on the cross for six hours until his death at 3 p.m. At the sixth hour, darkness came over the whole land for the sun stopped shining and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And he died. Before sundown, Jesus was removed from the cross and buried in a tomb. The chief priests and the Pharisees convinced Pilate to guard the tomb to keep the disciples from stealing Jesus' body. Holy Saturday, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Jesus was laid in a nearby tomb and his body remained there the entirety of Holy Saturday. Easter Sunday, Jesus rises from the dead. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man 
dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. The angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I died. But look, I am alive forever and ever. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they may go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. For more videos like this, go to Daily Prayer.